Things have been incredibly quiet over the past 24 hours on the UFO front with not much news coming out so I thought today we would take a look at some uh, UFO videos and the channel that we're going to be taking a little look at is a fantastic channel of compiling brilliant UFO evidence and it comes from Mavi UFO Alarm and this is titled a UFO caught on a plane in England and a strange incident in Brazil. So let's take a look at them, see what we make of them and let's see if any of them are legit. Let's go. Right, Mavi 777 is usually fantastic when it comes to these kind of videos, straight off the bat. I find it. <laughs> right, interesting. I'm assuming this one's from the plane window. You can definitely hear the hum of a plane. I mean, there's something strange there for sure. I mean, it's definitely got some like little spikes off it. It looks like a blimp of some kind, maybe, but that's too high to be a blimp. Blimps don't go that high. Oh. I mean, for sure it's got that weird shape about it. Like, it's... I mean, I'm assuming this is a bird. I've just paused that at a fantastic time to prove that it might be a bird. But this... I mean, it's clearly got some kind of reflective surface about it. It's clearly, you know, an odd shape, whether it be, uh, like, you know, spherical, whether it be tube-shaped. I can't be certain right now, but for sure there's something weird about it. Right, I'm going to have to mute it because I always get copyrighted whenever I use the music in these videos. But for sure, there is, I mean, obviously the quality is diabolical, um, as, as is always the case with UFO videos. Um, I mean, I, I definitely think that there's some kind of shiny surface. There could be an argument made of a blimp, but I don't think they can go as high as a commercial airliner, which is, what, around 35,000 feet? Um, I don't know. It's very odd. I mean, there's a definitely a... I mean, this has got, like, a whiter body to it, and then it's got more of a... cut that, that This, like, cone at the front has got this, like, silvery kind of tinge to it, which makes me think that this is probably like the front, maybe the nose of the craft, and then this is the more the body. Um, I mean, I can't be, I obviously can't be certain on that, but there's no real defining features about it, which is frustrating. Um, and it all just kind of blends into one there. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Uh, I'm 50-50 on this one. It could be one, it could be the other, but I just can't be certain um, whether it's like r like something more explainable or if it's something more extraterrestrial. But let's move on to the next clip. Oh, wow, okay. Lights up in the sky. Again, got to mute it. Um, I mean, this could be one of many things. Most notably, like, whenever you see a drone show, you often see them, like, lighting up like this, changing colours and, you know, different um, lights kind of flashing up. There's not much context to it. All we know that it's in Moscow on June 6th, 2024. That's literally all we've got. Um, obviously, the lights flashing on and off. I'd be more inclined to lean towards a drone show of some description uh, than I would be anything kind of extraterrestrial. But at the same time, there's nothing to really say either way. But I don't know. My gut's telling me that this is something like a drone show, personally. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Obviously, the, the colours just don't add up, though. 
there's not too much really observably that we can well observe there's no movement no change in direction no acceleration the observability is very slim i think this is a different clip we'll move on to so let's move on to this although it does look very similar to the last okay Hmm, interesting. See, what I find weird is that the lights here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights up here, remain consistently on. And then the rest blink. The rest, oh, I don't have to pause it. The rest, oh, that's interesting. So we can see up how high up in the sky this is. Drones... There, there would be a crowd if there were drones. You, there would be noise, there would be something, but it's, it's dead silent. Which tells me that this is an unplanned event. Can't be satellites. You know, I, I, I think there could be something to this. Can't quite put my finger on it. Annoyingly, with every clip so far, there's been nothing kind of like I I, I tried to look for the what they what is labelled as the five observables. So you've got speed, acceleration, deceleration, uh, changing in direction, and observability. Right? Or sound comes on there as well. Um, but none of these have had any of that so far. So it's really difficult to pinpoint like anything. I mean, we can see how high off the ground it is, but that's kind of it. What the fuck? Right. Let me know your, what you think. Again, I'm on the fence with this one. I would lean more towards something less than natural than I would something natural. But uh, that's kind of fringing on that side of the fence. Not really, like, definite. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I'm a Here's something interesting. <clears throat> Obviously, three lights in a triangular shape. Not too much movement. See, now I like these ones. And the reason I like these ones is because it makes you question whether that's three individual crafts or three lights from a singular craft. Let's see how they move. Right, they're not really moving in unity, so I'm going to suggest that this is three. I'm going to suggest, like, right here, it looks like one craft. But as the clip goes on, these two go off in this direction towards this post. And this one stays consistent and stays where it is. That makes me think that this is three individual crafts moving... Do you see how the gap between them is getting larger? 100% I think that this is something not of this world. Oh, what's that? What's that? When they zoom in. Oh, hang on. Let's go back a bit. What's this? Is that part? Like, that looks like a telephone pole there, but that's solid black. Right. I definitely think that's something extraterrestrial. Though... Um, I can't put my finger on it, but I definitely think that it is uh, three individual crafts, which completely changes the dynamic of that clip. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Gotta, gotta, gotta mute it. Right. So I think this side's a zoomed in version of this. Oh, interesting. That looks quite spherical. Like, do you remember in Australia, there was that like, um, chrome coloured sphere that ended up in someone's garden it looks a bit like that for sure 
it's moving. Whatever it is, it's booking it. It's, you can see by the things going past it, it's moving quick. So the acceleration for sure is there. The speed is for sure there. We can't tell about sound because I've had to mute it for copyright reasons. God damn it. And, uh... I mean, it's clearly reflective, whatever it is, because we can see... That's not a good time to pause it there. We can see the sun. It's, like, glaring off of here, and then this part of the orb is, like, darker. 100%, I think this is... Oh, no, this is extraterrestrial for sure. What it is, I don't know, but I've seen these, like, chrome-shaped spheres, or chrome-coloured spheres, sorry, appearing in different places across the world, and... You know, look at the speed in which this thing's booking it. Obviously, we can't. We haven't got too much to kind of go off of, but for sure, this thing's booking it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of these clips. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions while you're down there. Be sure to jump scare the hell out of that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Take a little about to get notified whenever we upload to the channel. And until next time, guys, I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll speak to you later. Peace.